So what other things do we look at when we have a patient that's been diagnosed with cancer? We have the blood test, as I discussed, the C-reactive protein, the liver function, the blood sugar, the vitamin D levels, the hormone levels. Now that's blood. Now we need to look at our urine. Our urine is a good indicator of many things. It indicates if you have blood. It indicates if you have an infection. It indicates if you have protein. But one very important thing that's often overlooked in medicine is the acid alkaline balance of the body. We call that the pH, the power of hydrogen. And what is that? Well, we know the pH ranges from 1 to 14, and we know the body is, functions optimally at a pH of 7.43. Now, many times when I look at the patient's urine, most people have a pH of 5, so they're very severely acidic. The lower the number, the more acidic you are. The higher the number or closer to optimal range, which is 7.43, you will be functioning your immune system, your entire hormonal system, every system that is biochemically taking place in the body will be functioning at optimal levels. When your body's acidic, let's look at the swimming pool. If you have a swimming pool at home, what does the guy go and check? The first thing he checks is the pH. Why? Because you want beautiful, clean, pure water, right? And so if you don't, bugs, microorganisms go, grow. Bacteria and viruses destroy the cleanliness of the water. And so you, we want that optimal pH. Well, our bodies are no different. We function better. Now, if you have a low pH, what happens to your oxygenation? You can't get oxygen to your tissues. Well, oxygen, oxygen is, all of us know, the most important nutrient you need to live. If you don't have oxygen after several minutes, you will die. Plants need oxygen. Our bodies need oxygen and cancer thrives in an anaerobic, without oxygen, environment. So what makes us acidic? Well, if we're dehydrated, we don't drink enough water. Water is the solution to pollution. If we eat foods that are acidic, and what foods are acidic? Well, coffee and tea and chocolate and meat and crackers and rice and pasta and all those, those basically processed foods are acidic. Well, what makes you alkaline? Greens, greens, and greens. So you can do green powders. You can do wheatgrass. You can do vegetables galore, every green vegetables galore, um, and lemons and limes and grapefruits are also very alkaline. So your plate, when you're eating, should be half greens and half your meat or chicken or fish or what other things that you might need. You might want some brown rice, but it needs at least 50% green to keep your acid alkaline perfect. So pH, another way you can check your pH is checking your saliva. And I tell people to spit first and then do their second saliva uh, and you will know what your pH. So your urine you can do and you can buy pH test strips and check your urine or you can check your saliva. Now what are the things do we need to look at when we have a patient come in diagnosed with cancer? Well, I think besides their blood work, then their pH, and then I really examine how much water do you drink? Do you drink half your body weight in ounces? Water, as I said, is the solution to pollution. You need proper hydration for your cells to biochemically do what they need to do. And so most people are not good water drinkers, let's face it. And I myself, I'm not a good water drinker, but I schedule my water. I know that I need so many ounces per day. And so I have a program kind of like I brush my teeth. And if you're like that, you need to do the same thing. And I tell patients the first good rule of thumb is you can get 30 ounces very easily. You drink 20 ounces in the morning. Why do you drink 20 ounces first thing in the morning? The average glass is about 10 ounces. But why do you do that? You do that because you were just asleep for seven to eight hours. So your body went through all night detoxifying. So the first thing you need to do is flush and activate and motivate the system. 
So you do that with pure, clean water. Do not use your tap water. Use pure, clean water. Always invest in a great a water purifier. But you must drink the water You because water helps detoxify. It helps the cells stay nice and happy. It makes the internal milieu in your body, which is the, the water that your, your cells bathe in, it makes it nice and wonderful so that the cells can function optimally. 